Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, and I just learned that it's a long weekend. Do you guys have long weekends where you are? It's August long weekend here in Canada. I don't know, it's just an extra day off. No one really knows what it's for. It's just, oh, yeah, it's, the weather's nice, we don't want to go to work. We gave ourselves a long weekend. It's now, uh, it's like a stat holiday for people, and people go to the beach and stuff. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know. I'll be at home. Britt's got to work most of the weekend. I don't know if she works on Monday or not. I'll have to find out. I'm gonna go pick up 40 feet of reels. I'm in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. I'm at the co-op that took away about 50 of our parking spots with a home center. They built a home center where the parking lot used to be. Now they sell wood and stuff there. But there's still some parking here, so. They still got a good restaurant. It's a nice place to stop. Got ourselves all loaded up. This is the piece that we picked up in Alberta. Not 2100, 1200. 1200, 2400 kilograms for the both of them. Cool deal, man. Meters. Turn right on 16th Street. I thought this girl was running from something. I guess she was just jogging. She's going into a fitness store. I guess that's the gym. She was like just torquing it down here. I thought she was running away from something. It's like looking at someone chasing her or what? No, she's just running for fun. Some people do that. I don't know. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 13 reels on the trailer behind me. And we're gonna take this straight back to our yard. I'll wave that guy through. I'm just gonna slow him down. I know, technically the rules say that I should go first. Sometimes I break the rules. I know. I thought you said you follow the rules, Trucker Josh. Sometimes I get to the intersection first but I will let the four-wheelers go if I know I'm just gonna hold them up. Because nothing's worse than having them right up your rear end, impatient with you, because you're holding them up. I'd rather just get them in front of me. Get them out of my hair, get out of here. I don't know, maybe I should just follow the rules and just go in front of them and hold them up. When you come to a stop sign here in Canada anyways, the first person to arrive at the stop sign gets to go first. Makes sense, right? Unless if you both arrive at the exact same time, then it's whoever is to the right gets to go first. And if you come to an intersection on gravel roads, which is pretty common in like the back roads of the prairies, if you come to an intersection and there's no stop signs or anything for either, either direction, it happens. Whoever, again, whoever is to the right has right of way and whoever's to the left has to stop. I still like this system better than roundabouts. I wonder what this thing is. Oh, a museum, that's cool. I always wonder if these small town museums, are they subsidized or do they actually make enough money to like uh, cover their costs and stuff? Meters, turn right on, government road, highway 35 and then turn right at 1.0 kilometers. I'll give it to her, she is persistent. Boston Pizza, my favorite restaurant. Restaurant slash lounge, slash patio, slash amazing heaven. They got great food. It is a little expensive though. That's the one thing I gotta say. I, I gotta say that. Boston pizza. You gotta have some mercy on us. I wanna eat your food, but <laughs> sometimes I can't, can't afford it. All right, co-op. Not very fond of your gas station attendance, so we're not gonna go and spend our money in there. The restaurant is really nice though. Waitresses in there were very friendly when I was in there yesterday. Make a U turn if possible and then turn right at 120 meters. I don't know what it was. I was in the uh, gas station this morning and oh, they were just in a bad mood. Bad mood. I'm not going in there again.
right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Diesel, let's clean this window. Did you eat your breakfast yet? Diesel, you didn't eat your breakfast yet. You're on such a roll eating so good every day. I guess it's because I gave him his breakfast while I was loading. And he doesn't want to eat when I'm not in the truck. I appreciate that, but sometimes you can eat without me. Better? They make you work for it here. They only give you those tiny little like car squeegees. So you gotta open your hood, climb up on your motor. Make sure you don't touch anything that's too hot. Oh, at least we got a cleaner window. Sayonara! Adios, auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. See you later. Ciao. Uh, I would say konnichiwa, but I think that means hello. Straight this way is home. Sweet home, Manitoba. Ling, 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 ling. Oh, this is a terrible intersection. I can't see if there's traffic coming. Hello? No traffic coming? Okay. Sorry, bud. I didn't mean to poke my nose into your side there. I wanted to make sure I could cross without dying. I thought about it. I thought about it. I'm too nice. I am too nice. I have this thing about not dying. It's a strong urge of mine. I have this urge to live. You ever wonder why a train track is that specific width? That is the, that is the width of a Roman horse, horse cart from back in the day. I know I'm uh, full of a whole bunch of knowledge. Some of it's true. equipment is back on my truck I know it's kind of a funny system but it's our system all the equipment stays with the truck whoever's taking this load on to Ontario uses their own equipment I paid for my equipment that's mine if I leave it on the trailer I'm never gonna see it again it's just the world we live in so we all keep our own equipment we're all we all hold on to our stuff really close but whatever the next guy ties this down 
That's why I like to deliver straight to destination. When I pick up, I like to go straight to destination. We're going home. You see his ears there? You want to go home? Look at the camera. Look at the good people. Look over here, dude. Tell them how much you want to go home and see your mom, see your brothers. Home sweet home, old blue. You did good another week. You did very good. Diesel, so did you. You did fantastic. You're the star, man. Absolute star. You ready to go home? I'm ready to go home. Just gonna grab my keys out of here. That's that. So I've already got a fun project lined up for this weekend with old Blue. Other than washing her. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'll show you if I want to show you. She's dirty, doesn't like being on camera when it's dirty. You're a working truck. You're gonna get dirty, okay? There's no shame in that. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the project for this weekend sometime is this. You see what I sort of jerry-rigged here? This bolt broke off from there. So I screwed it back onto here and then I put this tarp strap on here just to be sure, or this bungee, just to be sure it wasn't gonna move, but it's, it's screwed on here now. It broke off right out of there, so I gotta figure out how to fix that. I hope I don't need a whole new mirror. Oh, we'll see. Gotta fix that before we go on the road. At least it happened like as I was, as I was bobtailing to the shop here. So the timing, old blue, you and your timing, you have been mint the past month. Blew the tire when I was right in town, down the street, I could get it fixed right away, didn't even have to go far. Mirror fell off, this convex mirror fell off on the way home, all I have to do is tie it on, we're back at the shop, I'll fix it before we go out. I like you, old blue, you've been nice to me. And the engine is running fantastic. I changed the oil, what, a few thousand kilometers ago already, like 5,000, like 3,000 miles ago already. I checked the, 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 the oil on the dipstick, still looks brand new. It's still like brand new oil. Doesn't lose a drop of oil, doesn't burn a drop of oil. Oh, Blue. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. We're just gonna go ahead here though and uh, knock on all the wood we can. Let's hope it stays like that. But so far I've been very happy with the purchase of this truck. The owner before me was not lying. And I didn't think he was. He, uh, all of his friends and everyone who knew him uh, gave him a glowing recommendation and a beautiful review of how he treats his trucks and how he is as a person, man of integrity. And uh, you know, he really didn't try to swindle me. He didn't sneak anything under my nose. I've been with this truck now for a few months. I built some trust with it. And uh, it was just an, an honest sale. And I'm, I'm happy to report that. It's, uh, it's just as good as the previous owner said it was. He wasn't lying about anything. Very happy. Diesel, you say we were going to go home, man. And then you start yapping. You talk about the meal, you talk about the truck. Every time, man, this happens at the shop. That's why I don't like coming here, man. And we stay here all day and all night. Then we get home, mom's like, where were you? And I was like, I tried, tried, get him, come home. Yeah, we better go home. Okay, a little update before we go. I know I'm still here. <laughs> this bolt that broke off seems to be a part of the mirror. I'll have to confirm that tomorrow, but I might need to buy a whole new mirror. <laughs> and that's a heated power mirror, too. Fantastic, man. That's good news. Now let's go, let's go home, man. You ready to go home, Diesel? Is that what you I don't think that's good news. Diesel, I don't, I don't really care either way. Let's go home. We told Mom we would be home already. She could be worried. Well, what if I want to tinker on my bike for a little bit? Eh? Huh? Tempting. I could also tinker on this. I haven't had this out for a few years already. Needs a new battery, new ex exhaust, or new muffler. Yeah, you can't funny anymore. 
I just ain't funny. I didn't say anything the whole trip, man. I was stuck in a small truck with you. You don't need to work on this quad. You don't need. We need to go home right now. Not even wagging my tail. That means I really want to go home. Okay, okay, we're going home. But one more thing. One more disappointing thing. I lost one of these on the road. Online, they call this a basil, or it's the the ring that goes around these lights. And it just has these clip bones. It just sort of sneaks in there, right? Like that. You uh, hold that in there. <laughs> Whatever. And then it stays there, right? Except for when it doesn't. And then it flies off. Lost it somewhere. Lost one of them. So I'm going to take this with me to remind me tomorrow. we got to go into Winnipeg first thing in the morning for blood work for Brit. And uh, this is going to remind me that on the way home, I need to stop by at uh, PBX and Blumenort. That's where I bought these uh, mud flap hangers. See if they sell these individually. If not, I'm going to go online and I'm going to buy them online. I'm going to buy the ones with the screws that can screw in. They'll stay on better. And uh, also with the visors. Because if you need to fix anything, you may as well upgrade. All right, for real this time, Diesel, let's go home. For real. I, I, I just don't believe you for some reason. I just don't believe you.